Right, hello. So we're back. Uh, second part of the Blackstone Fortress um, sets. So we're doing these guys, which are the spindle drones. Uh, I've already undercoated them grey. Uh, and then I did a black uh, undercoat from the back and sides in an effort to darken down. And then I did from the top with a white. I might have to pick one of the kind of white though, because it's going it's very bobbly, which I'm not really enjoying. Um... But yeah, so it's going to be, it, it should be darker on the bottom. So paints for today, we have uh, obviously Magrex Earthshade. That's going to go in the panel lining in a bit. Um, so I should do them in order. So first one's going to be Norn Oil. So I'm going to be uh, doing a shade on the bottom part of the drones for this and the little metal spur on the base that makes up the, the slotter base part. Um, that's to darken them down a bit and obviously on the stones and stuff as well on the bases then I'm going to make a blue glaze uh, out of the outdoor guard blue uh, which will uh, I'm going to put over the white armour panels on the top run it over the top uh, and then it's going to be a white dry brush with white scar on the uh, on the blue to bring it, the white up a little bit on the edges and then on the edges of the legs but not too much don't want to make it too bright uh red is going to be on the little laser sensor eye in the middle of them uh which is then going to have a yellow as my first and red uh, a flash it's yellow dot it says do two dots but i'm not sure i'll do i'll do one dot see how it looks like and do another dot on it apparently and then finally obviously agro air shade which will be going over the uh, stones and in the panel line like I did with the ergles on the on the backs and everything the muscles uh, and then I might do a little dry brush or white or, or grey or something on the stone just to bring them up a bit uh, but yeah so there's a timer we're going to start it off and we're going to start painting so I'll do a work in progress as I do it okay so got the blue glaze done on these guys just going to tint to the armour blue possibly a bit too much but the white dry brush should help. I was very careful dry brushing these because they are indeed spindly drones. Um, and I'll just snap them. So, I'm doing okay so far. Okay, and then we'll carry on and we'll carry on to the dry brushing. So, I kind of already jumped a step, but that's the white dry brushing on that guy. I've stopped doing the bases. Um, so let's see this one. That's a bit better. There you go. So you can see the white's picked out the blue fairly well on that front. I've done the. There you go. So I'm just doing the bases now and then I'm moving on to the reds. So, so um, I've done a little bit on the bases. I need a second coat. I've done the red eye. But again, it's not. Done, done. Uh, time at the minute is at 45.49, which isn't terrible. For, but it's not great either for a speed or anything, but there you go. So I'm going to do the brown wash next. I'm going to put a little bit on the eye, run it into the armour panels, and then I'm going to do the yellow dot on it, and that should be the final step. Once I've done another coat of black, that should be the final step for I'm done. So, right, so I've done a little bit of brown wash just on the armour panel bits there. You can see... Uh, not much, just in the cracks, like bed dirt and stuff. Yeah. Good. And ah, blind. The last one. You can see it in the recesses. So I'm just going to uh, do the yellow dot on the eye and then a last coat of black on the bases and that should be it. Right, so done. Uh, we're done. Done all four. Timer reads 107.47. It's actually pretty accurate this time as well because I've not left it running. Um, yeah, so let's get you some shots from. So last step was to do... Last step was to do the yellow on the eye. Uh, I'm wondering if it might be better just to... Try it. 
Yeah, that's better. There you go. Right, so the last step was to do the yellow on the eye. Ooh, a bit closer, there you are. So that's him finished. Uh, the bases, like the Urgles, will be done later because there's just a slightly different video for them. But yeah, so the blues come out really nicely. Uh, I've put a little, if you can see, uh, see if we can make see. Uh, I put a little white dot on the yellow, which hasn't really come out very well, but it's not ruined it either, so that's not too bad. Uh, to be fair, the, the patchiness of the white spray going on actually works pretty well for these um, and for the ergols because it, it, I guess it represents like a pitted or mottled surface. Um, but I, I'm, I'm going to have to probably pick up a, a can of white spray if I want to do something a bit smoother armour, but it kind of works for these guys. Yeah, there's not really much to show on the back of these, that's why I haven't, but yeah, I think they've come out pretty well. I'm quite proud of them. So that's... Um, Second part of the Blackstone Fortress model's done. Uh, apparently that's 18% well, out of the Urgles. Is it 18% of all the models in the base game? So that's pretty good. Uh, next video I'll be doing... I might do the Beastman. Because uh, my lovely wife wants to do the Chaos Space Marine dudes. Um, but I might do the Beastman. I'm definitely going to do the Guardsman. I'm going to break them into two batches of seven. Because doing 14 in one go would be a bit uh, tiring. Um... And obviously all the heroes get left get left till last anyway. Uh, I'm not sure what that leaves after. Oh, Negavolt I could do Negavolt Cultists actually, the wiggly, wiggly boys. But I'll um I'll decide that later. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you another time.